Hello everyone, Sean from Board World, and today I want to talk to you about exploration. We've done a lot of things in this world, all the way from dying in lava around the second episode to dying to the warden during a game of chicken, all the way up to defeating Minecraft's main boss, the Ender Dragon herself. But one thing we have not done is a lot of exploration. With the new Minecraft updates, there are a lot more reasons for us to explore this world. The main reason for me is resources. And when I think about resources, I start thinking about biomes and immediately a desert comes to mind. It has dual purposes. We can get a whole bunch of sand. Sand is very useful as a crafting recipe, but also the desert has temples, which has golden enchanted apples, which will be very useful to us in an upcoming project. Also, if we're lucky, we might find a Badlands biome, get us some terracotta. So I think we should find us a desert biome immediately. But before we take off, we should make a brush because we're gonna encounter a lot of suspicious sand and suspicious gravel and we want to get all of the goodies that come with that today and after flying for i don't even know how long i think i see some orange beneath me yep we found a mesa biome my plan is to go from the mesa find a desert start looking for structures villages temples whatever i come across first i've always found it better to build my nether portal in an existing structure it makes it easier to spawn proof you don't have to worry about creepers blowing a hole in your portal it's just mad annoying to me so we're going to do everything we can to prevent that now for a few short minutes we make it to the edge of the mesa biome we're at the desert but look at this terrain it's just absolutely gorgeous Beautiful Minecraft terrain. We'll come back and tear this thing up later. Right now, we're on the mission. And now that we've found us a village, what we need to do is go ahead, get a portal, get some coordinates, link our portal in the nether, get a whole bunch of ice, glass. What's up, my guy? So we're gonna build a little nether ice highway so we can get back and forth from our base to this village very easily. And as you can see right now on screen, we are cruising. Missed my turn right there. It's a little hard to maneuver this thing sometimes, you go so fast. But this is absolutely the best way to travel long distances in your Minecraft world. Back at the village, this camel is trying to make an escape. What's up, little buddy? What we're going to do is we're going to lead him back to the village, get us a lead. We're going to tie him to a fence post, and hopefully he can just stay here, stay safe for a while, so we can head out, and we can do what we planned to do hours ago, which is exploring and not too far out of the village we come across this low desert well i think that's what they're called either way i'm gonna get out my brush get in here and we are gonna make the first archaeological dig of our 1.20 let's play world i am super excited what are we gonna get looks like a pottery shirt and just like that we are minecraft archaeologists let's get out of this hole and continue exploring i had pillager outpost in my notes for today's episode but i did not think that i was going to come across one so quickly here in the desert looking for temples but we will take it these things are pretty easy to raid if you have really good armor like i do so what we're gonna do is Fly up to the top, we're gonna chop through the roof, get the loot, and get out of here really quickly. Coming in for a crash landing. Ugh. Let's eat some food. All right, let's get through this roof. Oh, look, uh, desert temple. We are experiencing some insane luck today, people. Chop through. Oh, come on, guy. I'm a peaceful traveler in search of armor trims. Now I got the bad omen effect. Come on. Ooh, goat horn. I'll take that. All right. That appears to be it. We don't really need too much here. We can come back and get the LAs later. Let's go check out this temple next. And there's a reason I wanted to do the desert temples first. They have a dual purpose. I can get for the archaeology. Get out of here, stupid creeper. 
I can get the archaeology, and then also at the bottom of the wells, there's a good chance we can get some golden enchanted apples. The project I was talking to you about earlier is basically the wither fight. I want to fight him. Oh, fire aspect. I'll take that. I want to fight the wither, get our beacons. But I think in this world, I want to fight him straight up. No tricks, no holes in the ground. Ooh. Ah, just a golden apple. Dune armor trim. That's pretty good. Not a hole in the ground, like I was saying, with iron golems in it. Oh, more dunes. But yeah, just a straight up me versus the wither fight. That's the project I want to get into in the future. I'm going to finish collecting all this TNT, and we're going to do some archaeology. Looks like we got an armor trim. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Oh, just an emerald. And I think this is another pottery shirt. This is going to put me on the level. I'm almost up to enough to get a pot. Check out all this stuff I got in this here chest I got. It's pretty good stuff. We're going to continue on. I want to get these allays. So how do I get allays? I just put something in their hand. No. Oh, wait, I'm crouching. There you go. Give this guy one. All right, you are my allays now. Come on, let's get out of here. Before a pillager shoots you. Come on. Come on, guys. You come with me. That's right. Come with, come with me, guys. We'll go stash you in the village. What had happened was when I went to put the allays back up in the village, I triggered the raid. So we had to do that. Now I got a bunch of totems of undying though. Pretty cool. Let's get back to exploring. And flying and finding anything while you're flying is actually really difficult. You kind of got to like frog jump through your worlds, let them generate. But we got us a uh, desert well. See what we get here. Oh, another pottery shard. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to a full pot. And what is what is that? What is that? Look at that over there. We found us another temple. Let's go in here and see what we can scavenge from the ancient builders. What did they leave us here? We're going to go down to the bottom once again. Try not to blow ourselves up. Blowing ourselves up. Would not be good, and I was hoping it was an enchanted apple. Not much in these chests. Riptide, nothing good. I guess I'm going to take this gunpowder. 
Hopefully I can get an enchanted apple. Come on, enchanted. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just take the gunpowder. It's kind of a bust. And up top, also a bust. This is the only one I find. We're going to go off to another temple. You can't believe this. Like, if I wasn't walking past this thing and happened to look right over, I never would have seen it. And what are we going to get? Another shirt. And it looks like a diamond. Delicious. Down at the bottom, check this out. It looks like there is a fossil that has generated right here in between. That is crazy. I wonder how rare that is. Somebody uh, let me know in the comments how rare that is. That's crazy. What do we got? Some dunes. We got some dunes. Uh, that's nothing. Nothing in there. I guess I'll take the gunpowder. But this is pretty much, uh, pretty much a bust in this one. I hope we get more luck with the trail ruins. Let's get out of here. Let's head over to the jungle and see what we can do. Now we are back at the jungle. We're by our base and we're looking for that guy right here. It's called a jungle temple. This is going to give us uh, some other loot, some other goodies. I'm not 100% sure what loot they stash in these, but we're going to find out. I know it's some type of armor trim. They put an armor trim in every structure. And if you guys play this game, you know you just got to rip that wall out. We'll get some diamonds. I don't really need any of that other stuff. I want these redstone components. I'm going to bust in here. I'm going to take these pistons. And then we're going to go see about getting what's in this chest right here. Yep. Some wild armor trims. I wonder what those are going to look like. Hopefully they look pretty cool. Don't get shot by that arrow on my way out. And after about another hour of combing the jungles, we come across a trail ruin. And so far, it is not fruitful at all. But what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this top. And then we got to go down a considerable amount of blocks because of the glitch that still exists with these things. But we're getting pottery sherds already. Once you get down here and start clearing it out, this thing is actually pretty big. We just want to keep grabbing as much stuff as we can. Check this out. It's a disc. We got the we got the disc. What is that? Is this another pottery shirt? No, it's a armor trim. I forgot you can get armor trims. Look at what we got so far. Not too much, but look how big this ruin actually is once you get deep down in here this thing just keeps on going it's actually kind of cool i have to be totally honest with you guys when i first was going to make this video i didn't really think exploration was going to be as cool as it actually is we've gotten a lot of stuff out of this thing so far we're going to keep it going there is another armor trim that is crazy how many we got. Another pottery shirt. And I think I know a good spot for that pot. I was sitting here thinking about it right on that shelf above my fridge. Look, another one. I have to have like four or five now. I don't know how many even come out of the suspicious gravel. Look, there's another one. I actually have three, but I have a couple of each one. I do not have all of them yet, but man, I have just getting so much stuff out of these. Archaeology is like really cool. I'm Indiana Jones over here. Look at me. I'm going to pull up yet another armor trim. And I think that's about it. This place is massive, but we have... We've done most of the work. We pretty much got it all the way cleaned out. Look how far it is before, like, the actual ruin generates. It's like 10 layers or something. Check out all our loot that we got. Exploring our world was majorly beneficial to us today. Majorly beneficial. I am very, 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 very happy. Very excited. What I really want to do is try out some new armor trims. I really don't like this one I got. 
And I think we can do a little bit better with the selection that we have now. So let's go in and we're going to try on some different armor. Quick flip and we're back. We are three quarter wild armor trim all on the bottoms. And then we went with the host for our helmet. It just looks way more dapper that way. That's going to do it for the episode, folks. If you're still with me, if you're still hanging out, why don't you go ahead, leave a like on the video, sub to the channel. I have a lot more content in the works just like this. Be blessed and have a great day. Now get out of here.